Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to be looking at the different types of CCTV cameras and the details about each of these cameras as to their function and how they are more efficient than one another and specifically where to actually use a particular camera. So please stay tuned and make sure you subscribe um, to this channel and do not forget to turn on your notification for when next I post uh, a new video like this. So the first camera we're going to be looking at is the dummy camera. Then we have the bullet camera, a C-mount camera, a day-night, day and night camera, a PTZ pan still or zoom camera, a high definition camera, a high peak camera, of course the last one which is the LPR camera. Now the first camera we're going to be discussing is the dummy camera. This is what actually the dummy camera looks like. It has this glass shield and the camera is actually inside of it and it's mounted mostly in your cylinders and so on. So th this kind of camera actually um, has a dummy shape. If you look at it, it has a dummy shape. That's why it's pretty, it's uh, pretty much called a dummy camera because it actually looks like a dummy. So in one of the major functions or the features of this camera one is that it can be used in both indoor and outdoor. Uh, um, for both indoor and outdoor surveillance, it has a vandal resistance. Say for example, in a case where it's been used indoors or outside for anybody who might want to vandalize it, it actually has a vandal resistant uh, feature that quickly um, allows the um, prevents or actually signifies the if there's anybody who's trying to actually vandalize this equipment. So it has a rotating camera and wide angles. The It has a very high um, wide angle rating. It could actually theme about very wide range of angles from different points as the case might be. So another feature of this um, camera is that it is actually weatherproof. Like it could actually be in a rain, it could be installed outside the home where rain could be falling or the storms and anything, but it's still going to be actually working efficiently. And it has a night vision. It could work perfectly at night. So the other kind of camera we're going to be talking about is a bullet camera. As you can see, it looks like uh, a point, uh, like a bullet. <laughs> As a name might imply, it has a distinct uh, cylindrical shape, uh, which looks like a bullet shell. So that's why it's been called a bullet camera. Now, one of the major features of this camera is that it has a long distance view. You could actually, it could view films from a very long distance, and it's very easy to install. It's also used um, for both indoors and outdoor installations. And um, one of the, it's also weatherproof. Like you could actually use it and install it outside in the rain, doesn't really affect it or the clouds or anything. So it has a night vision camera. I mean, what good is a camera when it doesn't have a night vision camera? So most of these cameras you find them would actually have in these night vision cameras. Now the next, of course, the next camera is the C-mount camera. Now the C-mount camera has a detachable lens, effective for indoors, bulky size and high resolution image quality. Now it's both mostly using movies, camera for movie cameras. And so we have the day and night camera. The day and night camera has the ability to capture videos during the day and in the or in night with low lights. Um, in fact, even in complete darkness, it uses yeah, it uses an IR sensor. Like it's using an IR sensor, so it's an IR camera. It actually works with um some motion sensors. So one of the major features of this um, camera is that it records in both color and black and white. It has a wide variety of size size um, available. It, it has an inbuilt IR image sensor and it has a high definition technology using in high models. It has an ideal use. It is an ideal use of outdoor. So you want to make you want to be able to install a, a, a night, a day and night video camera so you could actually monitor the, the, the fits within um, yards from your home. So I think if you want to use, if you want to capture something like that, the best kind of camera you should be using and you should be going for is actually the day and night um, camera. So you've seen how the night and day mode could be. 
during the late hours in the night you find it uh, in the black and white form and during the day it's actually colored so the next camera we're going to be talking about is the um the ptz camera which is actually known as a zoom camera as well and this is what it looks like it is our take the ptz is actually a pan steel um kind of camera so it's actually been it has been steel and it can actually rotate at different angles however it doesn't have a much longer range like that of the zoom camera that we discussed earlier so it is actually a special camera that is actually being controlled by some kind of remote you could actually control it the user could actually have a remote that actually controls it so one of the major features of these um camera is that um it is actually it has a 200 ir night vision and um uh, an optical zoom so you could actually zoom the feet to your taste perhaps it has a high definition image revolution so a very gra the graphics of the camera is actually very high and has a motion tracking it's as a remote control like i said earlier it allows the user to be able to actually so it's mostly used for um, um a, a town surveillance um a, a town surveillance a town surveillance is being installed mostly at high buildings so it can actually zoom um the, the the so it could actually be used on skyscrapers tall buildings it's installed mostly there so it could actually view lots of places from a very far view and you could actually control the views from the the control center so this kind of camera if you want to actually capture uh and fits from very far and distance from your home you want to use um the ptz camera so another kind of camera is the high definition camera it has a very high resolution as you all know high definition and they used in high risk places such as banks and and what have you so you want to use a high definition camera to actually capture the um the, the bits in the bank and, so, and, and 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 some very important places so that's a clear picture of detail you you could actually see it very clearly there are no blows and zoom which without lessen without lessen focus losing focus so it's very sharp and it gives you an accurate um a picture of um or theme in actually and it doesn't offer in a maximum safety you can actually really have um it been hacked by anything else so it's it's very real so if you look at the picture you have on the right hand side it's by a normal standard camera but if you look at the one you have on left side it's actually a hd camera it's leaves it just the way you have it there i mean it doesn't actually add or reduce the texture of the image so we have an ip camera an ip camera is simply um a digital camera which actually sends data via the network now this kind of camera is basically used for um it's mostly used in our offices and you could actually use it in your home too. Say, for example, you want to be able to monitor your kids from far, as far as from your office or from where, wherever you are. You could actually install IP cameras in your house, so you could actually connect them to your internet from wherever you are. You could actually film the the feeds from your home. And uh, like I said earlier, maybe you want to monitor the activities of your kids. They are home alone, and you want to know about what they're doing, how they're doing, and everything. So some of the major features of this um, camera is that uh, it, there's no need for local reporting in the um, device, and it's remotely accessible. Like I said, you could assess it from anywhere. It has a high revelation. Less cables are used. It's a two-way communication. You could actually assess the fits from home and from anywhere so so the last but not the least is the lpr camera they're mainly used to read and store that is on registration on plates like maybe just the plate numbers of our vehicles for prevention of and vehicle thefts car packs assess controls if you want to assess a car pack uh, this um, camera is actually used to scan the plates number so it can actually grant permission for the car to be uh, packed in that uh, um, packing space that haven't been registered so it's so this um, use for um, troll payment or identification so this brings us to the end of this um, tutorial please don't forget to hit the subscription button and thank you see you next time